Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Ravi. Do you guys want to see something really cool? Ah! Man, this thing really packs a punch. Anyway, today we're doing some fun pranks. You guys seem to really like the last Trim Trim video where uh, I did a bunch of pranks on Lonnie, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> Let's start with the first prank, shall we? Crush a new glass screen protector using a hammer and put it on the screen. I am giving the phone to Redhead. Oops, it falls. Oh no, the screen is broken into pieces. She will not be able to deal with this shame. Okay, this one looks pretty simple. All I need is my phone. This one actually already has a screen protector on it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try and rip it off. There we go. Now we need to crack this baby. Yeah, that's looking uh, that's looking pretty cracked. Go ahead and put that back on our phone. Oh, oh man, now it's not sticking. Um, okay, let's see. I can try and tape it on. It's perfect. I don't think they'll ever tell that this is being held on with tape. I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap it all the way around too. There we go. And uh, I think I have done it. Yes, it is now the perfect prank. Look how many holes there are. I can't believe they dropped it and broke it. What a jerk. Oh man, what a wonderful day, Lonnie. Don't you agree? I agree, it's a, a day. Wow, do you wanna see something really cool on my phone? I would love nothing more. Uh, here you go. Okay, let me go. Oh, Lonnie! Lonnie, how dare you? Uh, Don't mind me, I'm just showing this camera that happens to be here. I can't believe you, you completely cracked my phone screen. I am in so much distress for upsetting my friend. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe it's broken forever. Wait, let me try again. I won't mess up this time. Okay, I told you. Oh! You really need to learn how to hold things, my friend. Well, anyway, I have something else to tell you. What is that? This whole thing's a prank! <laughs> Well, guys, I guess we could say this prank works! So you're at a party, drinking your drinks, you know, being spooky. Then all of a sudden your friend comes up. Hey, what's that? Oh, well, let me show you. Oh! Is that an eyeball? How did they do it? They put some gelatin in there. Then they mixed it with a little bit of water. Food dye. Black food dye, specifically. Poured a little bit in the bottom of a cake pot mold. This is for, like, the, the darker part of your eye, like the pupil. Then you add some vanilla jello underneath that. Then you just put some vanilla jello over that. That's actually for the white part of your eye. Mix in a little bit of red food dye. And you just drop it in there for all the little veins. Put them together. And boom, you got yourself a little eyeball. Yum, yum. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, I couldn't find any white vanilla jello. However, I did find these gummy eyes. And, you know, I'm pretty sure they'll do the same trick. I mean, I'm just not making them. I'm really sorry. I know I'm normally a crafty guy, but I, I just couldn't find any jello. Yeah, here are our eyes. Oh, yeah, that, that looks really close to mine. Okay, let's test this out on Tori. Oh, hey, Tori Dabransky. Hi. How is it going? Pretty good. Uh, would you like to see a magic trick? I learned how to pop out my eye. I don't want to see this anymore, Robbie. Too bad, you're about to That's see it. That's dangerous. You ready? <gasps> <gasps> In your oh, I, uh, Tori, it hurts. It hurt my eye. Oh, your eye's still in your head. No, it's out. And Tori, my eye, it, it, my eye fell out. It hurt. See, this is. Uh, it's real. It matches my other one. See? Your eyes are green, but okay. I think I know how to fix this. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh my God, my eye is back. That is not how it works, Robbie. My eye was delicious. Robbie, you can't just eat eyeballs and have them pop in your head. Is that well, it happened to me. I really got you, didn't I? Oh, I, I, I believed it 100%. Tori, I have a confession. What? Put out your hand. No, I, I don't want it out of your Oh. Uh, Gross. Uh, it was a prank the whole time. I didn't actually eat my real eye. Whoa, no way, really? This is this is just candy. Glad, I'm glad you didn't actually eat your eye, Robbie. You've been pranked. How does this make you feel? Sad. Very sad. I'm sorry. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one works. Take that. Add a red candle to fit the size of an empty lipstick tube. Pair the end of the candle so that it fits into the container. Put it into the tube. Why doesn't this lipstick work? And why is there a wick? Now it makes sense. For this one, we're gonna need a lipstick and a candle, but I couldn't find any of the skinny, long candles at the dollar store, so I just got this one. I can't seem to get the candle out, so uh, uh, let's see if old Mother Earth could help. Always respect nature. Awesome, thanks, Earth. Now we're gonna go ahead and whittle this down. You know, I always enjoyed whittling as a kid. I don't know whose great idea it was to give me a knife, but 
Well, I haven't cut off a finger yet. Knock on wood, guys. Knock on wood. Question, what parent is gonna let their kid whittle a candle down with a knife? Okay, I think this might actually work. Take the lipstick out. Don't need that anymore. Out with the old. In with the new. What's weird is this kind of actually feels like lipstick. Oh, wow. It, it actually went back in. Cut off the extra tip. This was such an easy prank. Hey, Lonnie, you seem to have forgot your lipstick in my room. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this just isn't a... Fucking craft if I've ever seen one. It's good lipstick? No, it's a crayon, bud. <laughs> it's a prank! It's a candle! Ew. That's gross. I mean, oh man! Uh, I was pranked. How could I have been such a fool? Redhead has a revenge prank. She's taped the blue-eyed girl's phone to her notebook. Now, she will have a hard time to find it. The blue-eyed girl hears her phone ring, but doesn't understand where the sound comes from. How did it get here? Lonnie, someone's trying to steal your car again! Not again, you dirty thief! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for it! <laughs> okay guys, we have the tape, we have his phone, let's do this. Just like that. We're just gonna right there. It looks perfect! I don't think Lonnie will ever suspect it! What are you doing in here? I would've never suspected to find you here. Oh hey Lonnie, how's it going? Did you get the guy trying to steal your car again? Yeah, I beat him up again. Oh wow, that's that's great. Okay, well, I, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Okay, you left your big roll of tape. Oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's there. You can take it everywhere you go, I think. I do. Oh, no, Lonnie. Where's your phone? Where is it going? Wherever could your phone be? It's probably stolen like everything else I love. <laughs> Robbie. What? You were the thief the whole time. Uh, I did never do anything! I'm uh, snowing! <laughs> they are gonna spray! My phone's right there! How did he get there? I don't know! Alright, I believe you. Ah, you've been pranked, Lonnie! Ah, oh, why did I believe you? So close. Lonnie, there was a camera right here! I pranked you! What a fool I continue to be! Why? Also, <laughs> also guess what, Lonnie? There also was a camera right there! How did I miss that? Oh, oh. I got you! You got him! You pranked, boy. I think pour stuff back <laughs> Wow, I can't believe that Lonnie fell for that again. There's no way he could fall for it a third time. <laughs> Lonnie, did you just tape yourself to the f***ing chair? What kind of f***ing question is that, dude? What, do I look like a dumb do you, What does that look like? Of course I did! Why did you tape yourself to the chair? You pranked yourself! <laughs> I don't even need you anymore. You're out of the equation. I don't need to do any work anymore. Lonnie, this whole channel is just gonna be Lonnie pranking himself. Look at this guy. He can't even escape. I'm so funny! Wait till I get out of here. <laughs> How is Lonnie gonna get out of this one? Oh, he already did. <laughs> what is the anime is that? Cowboy Bebop? Wow, that was so <laughs> successful. It's like David Bowie used to, just like David Blaine. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like leaving everything behind and just sinking my phone. This is what the blue-eyed girl has done. Redhead sees the phone in water. Hurry up! It's sinking! But the device turns out to be soap. So here's our phone case. Here's our phone printout. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out really quick. Okay, don't need this anymore. Sweet, looks good. Then we need to tape these holes shut. You know what, I don't trust this tape. That's why I'm breaking out my Gorilla Tape. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot more sturdy. Then I gotta do these holes. There we go. That's way better. Next side, just like that. Okay, then we put this face down, just like that. Okay, now to melt the soap base. Okay, I will see you when you're melted. Okay, you're looking pretty boiled. Uh, let's go. Oh, I should probably turn off the stove first. Oops. Okay, here it is. Uh, let's go ahead and drop this in and hope it doesn't get all over everything. Okay, yeah, looks like we have the perfect amount. Okay, I will see you guys when this is all dry. This is looking pretty solidified. Uh, let's try and get this thing out without breaking it. Okay, not bad. Oh my gosh, this might be harder than I thought. Okay, come on. Please, 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 please don't break. Oh, it's coming out. It's coming out. You can do it. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. Not bad. Okay, now let's cut off some of the edges. Other side. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Wow. Okay, let's go try this out. Okay guys, so now we're in Lonnie's bathroom, so I have to be really quiet. So I have my fake phone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it in the sink and then start calling Lonnie and tell him that I dropped my phone and ask him to help and see how he reacts. I also have this GoPro, so we have some extra angles on this as well. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I don't think Lonnie will ever suspect this. One. Two and... Oh! Lonnie! I have dropped my phone in your sink! I need your help! Lonnie! 
Okay, I drop my phone in the sink. What do I do? <laughs> You're a freaking genius. <laughs> Look at my phone. Do you think it is ruined? Dude, I didn't know you had an iPhone. You can print. It's soap. Look how clean I'm getting with this soap. Dude, I knew the new iPhone XR wasn't that cool, but come on now, let's, 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 let's not do that. <laughs> it does do that. Steve. See, the iPhone XR now helps you clean yourself. Steve Jobs walked out of everything. Well, I guess we'd say it works. Cut the bristles off an old toothbrush, cut a jaw-shaped gummy in half, and attach the half of the gummy teeth to the toothbrush using edible glue. It must be a special limited collection for vampires. So I'm gonna be honest, guys. I went to Walmart. I went to the dollar store. I couldn't find any gummy teeth. How? It was just Halloween. So I guess I'm gonna have to find another way to do this. Tara Bransky, I have another special request for you. What is it? I need you to punch me in the face. Oh, I gladly do that. Okay, Tori, I'm ready. Thank you, cute girl, for helping me with this. You're welcome. Okay, so we got our teeth, and we got our toothbrush. Oh no, this is gonna be so messy. Oh no. They made it look so easy. I don't even know if this is worth a joke. This looks disgusting. Break out our hot glue gun. Oh yeah, that definitely looks disgusting. Okay guys, so now that we have our nightmare fuel, it's time to test it out on Lonnie. <laughs> Do you feel like you need to brush your teeth? After that Crayola crayon lipstick, I'm down. Hey Lonnie, does anything seem weird about your toothbrush? There's a little bit of hairs on top of the four molars I keep on there for some reason. <laughs> You've been pranked! It's literally a toothbrush! Son of a bitch, that's great. Come on. So the first thing I'm gonna need are some pins. Boobity boop. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Grab our hot glue gun. We have to wait for it to heat up. 15 minutes later. Okay, so this is all heated up, but I actually decided to go with my original glue gun. You know, the one that this all started with. I'm sorry, glue gun. I'll never leave you again. Uh, 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 uh. Good times, good times. Anyway, don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these out. Yeah, like four should do. Then we go ahead and break out the wire cutters. It went flying everywhere. So we got those cut up. Then we get some hot glue. Dab it on there. And we stick it right on my finger. It's as easy as that. Get a few more. Then we do the back of my finger. Same thing. Ah, oh, that's actually really hot. So I guess I'll put it on the needle first. Let it cool down just ever so slightly. And just stick it on there. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty uh, decent, I guess. Then we're gonna get some fake blood. I only need the tiniest amount. There we go. Get a little bit of blood. Dab it right on the glue to kind of hide it a little bit. Anyway, let's test this out on the intern. How the heck do I open this very carefully? Oh my gosh. Mike! Oh my god, Mike! Mike! Oh, dude, I saw my finger you, you, like four times it's gonna be with a pin. Oh my god, dude. Why? Oh my, dude, I don't know how I did it the first time, but I did three. Oh my god, it fell off. Oh God! What is this? What is what happened? It's a it's a pin. Is it real? What are we gonna do? Mike, calm down. What are we gonna do? Dude, calm down! It's just a prank! Dude! You've been pranked! What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude, you're are you not hurt? It was a prank the entire time! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Well, I'll see you later. Okay guys, so I managed to get Chris's favorite juice. Minute Maid Berry Punch. Not sponsored by the way, this is just his favorite. So we're just gonna go ahead and take that cap off. Then we get our hot sauce. And then we just, uh, you know, put it on that, uh, on the rim of it. Yes. He will never suspect it. Perfect. Now let's try this out. Oh, Air Jordan! Hey, how you doing, man? Good, dude. What's up? Uh, so, I actually, I got you your favorite juice uh, to make up for all these mean pranks I've been doing. Oh, this is my favorite juice. Yeah, I, I know. Like, I, I just thought, you know. Thank you. No problem, dude. That's all yours. You can drink the straight out thing? of the tap. Yeah, go for it. It's open already. Yeah, oh, uh, sorry. I, I had a little bit. Uh, <laughs> how can you blame me? It's really good juice. Yeah, I am thirsty, so. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh. You've been freaking pranked, bro! Oh man! 
Damn. Oh, you ruined the whole thing of juice too. I, I mean, I just, I just put it on the, I just put it on the rim. Like it was just a rim, dude. It wasn't even that much hot sauce. You really over exaggerated here. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Okay, so I couldn't find any fake snakes at Walmart, so we're just gonna have to use this little fake frog instead. Good enough, I guess, right? And we'll go ahead and use some of this thread for string. Just wrap that around there, cut the extra off. And here's our little clip thing. I couldn't find any clothes hangers, so we're just gonna use this. Kinda tie it around there, and perfect! Okay, let's go test this out on Tori! So Tori's actually been catching on to these pranks pretty fast, so I'm gonna have to be really sneaky with this one. <laughs> Oh, Tori Nebraska! <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, is there any way that you could take the Benj out? Sure! Benjamin! Benjamin, what did you find? What did you frog? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god! That frog is attacking you! Benji, get it! Get it, Benji! Benji, get the frog! No, get the frog! Oh my god! Benji, you gotta catch it! It's attacking Tori! Get it, Benji! Oh no! What was that? I got you! You've been pranked! Why, why is it a- Oh my god, you look like you're like suffocating him. <laughs> We did it, Benji. We got her. <laughs> oh my god, he's just spinning. What a silly boy. What if comes from like it? Here you go. I got you. Got me. Well, yes, I guess we said this one works. Out of way. Here's our Sharpie. Here's our whiteboard marker. Let's do this. So apparently, uh, we just easily just go ahead and pull this out just like this. Oh, wow. It does come out. That was easy. And then we go and take the same one out of the permanent Sharpie. Oh, wow. That one also came out really easy. I was not expecting that. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Let's go ahead and test this out on Tori. Let's just go ahead and grab my whiteboard. Tori to Brands. I got you yet another gift that you will love. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. You'll never guess what it is. It looks like a whiteboard. It's a whiteboard. Oh, my God. I also got you a pen to, to use on it. I want me to write. Uh, to draw you? Write whatever you want. I'll draw you. Wow. Oh my gosh, you're drawing me. It looks beautiful. I love it. Oh my gosh. You're drawing me so good. Wow, it's me. I look like a Peanuts character. You'll have pants on. I don't know how to draw pants really good. It's okay. Wow, that really does look like me though. It looks pretty good. Wow. This looks really good, Tori Debranski. You did such a good job. Here you go. Now try and erase some of it. Oh, Tori Debranski, you ruined the whiteboard. Now it's stuck like that forever. Is it though? What did you do to it? It's permanent Sharpie. Why would you do this to your whiteboard? Wow, Tori, I can't believe you ruined my whiteboard. Uh, I think you could get it off though, right? You have a break. There must be a hack to get it off. That's a completely different video. If you guys want to see that hack video, uh, you can click right here. Robbie sucks. <laughs> Yeah, no, everyone's gonna know you suck, Robbie. Wow. You've been pranked! I got you! I don't know how this is a prank on you, though, because... I know, this is your whiteboard. Oh, oh man. I just... Well, it looks like I gotta get another whiteboard now. There you go. You can frame my artwork. Let's hang that right up. Sounds good. Okay, I'll see you later. No, wait, I don't want all this... Goodbye! Stuff. Goodbye. Okay guys, so you're at this party, right? And you're just talking to all your friends. Then uh, all of a sudden you hear a knock at the door. And who is it? I don't know. Well, let's see. Oh my god! What happened? You got cut in half! Oh! So here's how you're gonna do that. First thing you're gonna wanna do is get a shirt. Flip it upside down. Cut a little slit down the back between the shoulder blades. Then once that's done, you go on to the pants. All you gotta do is cut slits behind the knees. Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Now you just go ahead and shove some pillows down in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks legit. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Next, you're gonna want to put some red cloth in there to kind of simulate, you know, like blood and when you get chopped in half, you know, all that stuff. I don't cartilage. Paint a little bit of fake blood on there. Some paper shreds to make it look more like your guts. Put your shirt on. Should look something uh, like this. Then you just uh, add the bottom half. There you go. It looks like you've been cut in half. But not when you look at it from the side. Oh my gosh. And that's how we ended up here. Okay, guys. Guys, let's try this one. So here's our shirt. We just have to go ahead and cut a hole from here to here. And there we go. Shirt, done. And now for the pants. Flip them over, get them right behind the kneecaps. I'm assuming that's like right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Stuff this guy so it looks like my waist. I need more clothes. Got it, more pants. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm gonna put my red rag, and I don't have any red paper shreds, but you know what? I think uh, I think she'll uh, she'll get the message. Okay, let's put on our shirt. Oh, 
There we go. Don't need that anymore. No, we'll set my monster. Oops. Monster, can you please sponsor me? I feel like uh, it would be a, a great relationship. I'll treat you right. Then we go ahead and get our lower half. Yeah. Oh, I need to put the pants on first. Oops. I guess I just slip into these pants. Oh! Oh, no! I guess it'll just be like, oh, hi, Tori Debranski. I have something to tell you. I've been cut in half. Oh, no! This one's crazy. So crazy, I think it just might work. Oh, Tori Debranski. I have something to tell you. What? Here, let me put this down. I'm vlogging this because it's a very important moment. Okay, Tori, I have something very important to tell you. Yeah? It might, it might affect our relationship a little bit. Yeah. I've been cut in half. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are, are you okay? I'm, I'm dying. How are your feet still moving? Flesh? That's rude. Tori, I have something to tell you. Are, are you not actually? I'm not actually cut in half! That's good. This whole thing was a prank! I'm glad that you're not cut in half, Robbie. I pranked you! You really got me. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one freaking works. On to the next one. I mean, no more today. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you later. No, it's okay. I'll see you later. How's it going? Oh, it's going great. I got you a gift. Here, put your hand inside and grab. What is this? Uh, what the heck? What the heck is it? <gasps> Brains? What? Uh, but how did she do it? Well, all you gotta do is get a jar, get some cauliflower, mix a little bit of food dye inside of water, and then put it inside your jar. Boom, it's braids. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. Cauliflower? It's surely in the lowest tier of vegetables. So I'm pretty sure all the stuff that I need for this one is actually downstairs in the kitchen, but Tori's down there right now, so I have to kind of not be suspicious. Tori Dabransky. Don't mind me. I am just uh, getting a good, healthy snack. Well, I'll see you later. So I don't have any just cauliflower, uh, so I'm just gonna have to pick it out of this bag of vegetables. Wow, there's a lot of cauliflower in here. Okay, yeah, that should be, yeah, that should be enough. Next, we go ahead and get our jar. Toss them in there. Oh, perfect. And a little bit of red food dye. Shake it up. Oh my god! Great! Dude, this looks pretty legit. Okay, now let's test this one out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Oh, hello. Hey, I ha I got something for you. Yeah? I don't know if you can handle it. Yeah. Are you ready for it? I think I am. <laughs> I'm giving you brains! Wow, this is cool. I like it. Are you calling me stupid, Robbie? No, that wasn't the intent. The Tori, these are human brains. I like it. I like how they're little cauliflower. No, that's not cauliflower. Tori, that's oh. not cauliflower. That's, that's human brains. <laughs> Whose brains is it then? I. Uh, is it yours? Did yes. <laughs> you think I got your own brains? These are my, they're very important because they're my brains. It's <laughs> your brain. The brains look a lot like uh, cauliflower. It's Robbie. not cauliflower. Stop saying that. I like it. We could put it with all of our spooky things as decoration. I have a confession. What? Um, is it not brains? Is it cauliflower and some pink water? Dang, you got what? Tori Dabransky! <laughs> been pranked. Wow, I'm so surprised. I would never have guessed that this was cauliflower and some pink water. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. She kind of saw through our disguise. I know you. You were just playing along. I see you, Tori Dabransky. Enjoy your brain uh, jar. See you later. Wow, looks pretty good. <laughs> It's a jar of bread. <gasps> you should put it in there. That would look so cool. And then you can like, drink your brain juice. Just put the brains in here. You just want some cauliflower juice? That sounds disgusting. Okay, so here are our donuts. Haha. -ha. So first I'm supposed to make a little hole in this. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my popsicle stick. Just put that in there. Just kind of do that. Aha. Yeah, that should work. And I actually hate the smell of mayonnaise, so I'm gonna go ahead and use whipped cream instead. So I'm just gonna put that in. Whoa! Some came out of it. Ooh, that's some good whipped cream. Mm. Some came out of the middle hole, so I just gotta get that out of there. Get out of there. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out on Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! I got you a donut because I love you. Oh, thank you. There's nothing in it, trust me. What's There's that? nothing bad. It's just frosting. Don't worry about it. I really don't like little donuts, though. It's, it's okay. It's more glazed. 
a big old bite, Tori. <laughs> what? Take a big old. Take a big old bite, Tori. What is it? It's definitely not mayonnaise. It's not mayonnaise. Because though. I hate mayonnaise. I was supposed to use mayonnaise, but I used whipped cream instead. Oh, that's a lot nicer. Okay. Oh no! You got you got whipped cream in your mouth. You've been pranked. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! It kind of upset the hole again. That's not bad. Well, I guess we can say this one works. I'm good. You can have it. I'll see you I later. Oh, goodbye. I love you. Okay guys, so here's our screen protector. Now all we gotta do is uh, just mess it up real quick. Uh, we're close. Yes, that should do perfectly. Okay, now time to put this bad boy on Chris's phone. Now I have to sneak in really quietly so he doesn't hear me. Uh, what you what you up to? Uh, just playing some Super Smash. What's up? Uh, nothing much. Just smashing your phone, dude. What? Dude, what the heck? Oh my god, dude! Did you I really smash? This, this is really my phone. This is you really smashed my phone. I smashed the freaking phone. You went too far. You went too far. Is that supposed to really? You to hang out with me. Really smashed the phone. Why? Why would you smash it? Chris, I have something to tell you. What? It's a freaking prank, bro. That's a screen protect. You've been freaking pranked! Oh. Dude, I got you! Oh god, oh no, 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 Some strong card paper. Then we get our knife. Outline it really quick. There we go. Perfect. Well, we don't need this anymore. Go ahead and cut our knife out. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then it said to spray it with some metallic finish. I'm gonna go ahead and do this outside, actually. Here we go. Now we flip it over. Oh man, this looks like it's one expensive knife. Okay, our metallic paint is now dry. Then we get our foam for the handle and cut out our little handle pieces. Ah, oh, yes. Not bad. That should do for half of it. Now the other side. Yeah, these look pretty good. Put these to the handle, just like that. Yes. Cut these down. Oh, yes. Perfect. Then I'm going to go ahead and grab my white paint pen. And do the three white dots. Flip it over. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now to glue it to our knife. Oh, yes. This looks super legit. I don't think that Chris will ever know. Okay, now it's time to cut this bad boy in half. Oh, my beautiful creation. No. This is one of those cases where you must destroy in order to create. Put down some parchment paper, and now we're just going to hot glue all around it, just like this. And boobity boop. Looks good. Now I just have to hold it like this forever. <laughs> I like, there's no good way to do this. Maybe like that. Good enough. So that's like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the blade part. Just go ahead and stick that right in, just like that. Oh no. Okay, now I just have to wait for these puppies to cool down. Okay, so these should be, oh no, oh, oh no, I mean it came off pretty clean, that's not, that's not too bad, but this is going to be wobbling a lot, oh no, so now I guess I just have to glue it to my hand, so I'm going to go ahead and try it first with some eyelash glue, this has worked for me before, but it's not the best, if this doesn't work, I'll use nail glue, which doesn't come off, so that's kind of a last resort. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna do this one to the bottom, that way it's hanging instead. Just kinda glob that on there. Yes! Just like that. And now, I guess I just stick it on. Boom! Oh boy. Oh, that's already kind of sticking. Oh, not bad! Just gotta keep my hand straight and do the other one. Yes! And stick that one to the top. Just like that. Oh, no! I don't think that it's even. Oh, no. <gasps> 
<laughs> it's so crooked. I didn't think of this. Actually, that's not too bad. Okay, that's almost, I wouldn't say believable. You know what? Yeah, this is plenty believable. I, t I totally believe this. Now I just have to wait for this to dry. This might take a second. Oh, man. Okay, so it's about dry, and it's uh, actually sticking on my hand pretty decently. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our fake blood. This is actually just uh, fabric paint, so. Yes! Spread that on there. Oh, yeah. This definitely looks real. This is the most real blood I've ever seen! I definitely think Chris is gonna fall for this one. This looks pretty good. Now let's try it out on Chris. Okay, guys, let's do this. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Eventually. Oh! Oh my god, Chris! Dude, I, I stabbed my hand! I stabbed my hand! Oh! Oh my god! Chris! That's sick, dude! I'm gonna be sick! There's a total accident! Can you take, help me take it out? It's crooked. You've been freaking prank! I almost threw up over this. This was, it was fake, see? It's a fake knife! I almost threw up over this. You've been prank! Why did you gotta use the blood? Oh, oh it's so wet. I got you! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Okay guys, so Hair Jordan is sleeping downstairs and I got this whole box of makeup here that I can put on. Let's do this. <laughs> got our makeup. Let's do this. Here we go. Yeah. An aggressive on his face. This looks good. A good moon. And we're gonna give him some lipstick. Yes. Oh, oh my god, he almost woke up. Oh, but we should also give him Joker scars. Oh yeah. Oh no, I'm being too loud. Now let's give him a little bit of eyeshadow. Yes. I don't know if you're supposed to put eyeshadow on the bottom of the eye. Oh, I got some glitter eyeshadow. Yes. And then maybe a little bit more lipstick on the nose. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's time to wake him up. Okay, let's do this. I'm not going anywhere. Dude, yeah, you gotta go. I really have to go. Come on, man. I already did your makeup. It looks what great. I already about? did it. I already did your makeup. What are you talking about? It looks really good. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Dude, go check it out. You don't even need to do anything. You're all ready. What am I looking for? You're just good. Come here, look. You're fine. Dude. Do you like it? Dude. Do you are like you that turned out? Is this glitter? Is it good? Dude, what's it good? Why did you put glitter on? I left me now! Why? Dude, are you oh, good? Oh, are you for real? Oh, no. Are you for real, dude? Oh, Why would you put glitter on? You've been pranked! You've been pranked, dude! No, no. You don't know when to stop. You don't know when to stop. Chris, I'm sorry. You don't know when to stop. Chris, no! Uh, Chris! Now I gotta wash this off. What? I gotta wash this That's off. No. I know. Chris. There's too much. There's too much on me, and I'm gonna wash you too. What? If this no. dish Chris, stop. No. That's right, that's right. Because I can't handle having this on my face. You've been freaking great. Get the glitter off of me. I hate glitter. I can't handle glitter. Is it off? Yeah, dude, it's completely off. Are you sure? Stop, I did your makeup special for your date. No, I don't have a date. I don't do that. I don't leave the house. I got it in my mouth. I got soap in my mouth. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works! Woo! <laughs> Simply put your glue on a coin like this and stick it to any surface you like. Ooh, look, some money. I can't pick it up. Is this thing stuck to the table or something? What the heck? Super glue, baby. <laughs> Oh, okay guys, so this looks like a good spot. Here's our glue, here's our coin. All we gotta do, put a few drops on this bad boy. Yeah! That's a lot. Okay, we're just gonna go and stick it down. Ah. Oh my god, there's so much super glue around this now. Dude, that is never gonna come off. Yeah, that definitely looks like it's really on there. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let this set for a little bit, and then we're gonna try this on Chris. Hey Chris, what the heck are you doing? Um, uh, just so, uh, you know, exercise. Dude, get off that thing. Let's go outside and get some real exercise. We're going on a freaking walk. Okay. See, Chris, isn't this so much better? Yeah, it's great, dude. Anyway, let's walk. Whoa, Chris, what's that? Whoa. That's free money, dude. You should take it. All right. 
I didn't get a gumball or something. <laughs> it's kind of sticky. Dude, there's something on this. I think it's glued to the concrete. You've been pranked! I super glued it to the floor! <laughs> it's, oh, not, no. it's not dry. <laughs> My fingers are stuck together too. Feel that. You've been double pranked! Kids don't do this at home. This is probably really dangerous. Oh my gosh! Oh. Dude! <laughs> now my fingers stuck to yours! Man. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! First things first, I'm gonna need a bottle. Yeah, this ought to do. Let's go ahead and dump out that flower. Perfect. Grab some fishing wire. And last but not least, we're gonna need a pencil. Actually, a straw should do just fine. So we grab our straw and our fishing line, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tape the fishing line onto the straw. Whoop. Yeah, pretty easy. And stick that right in there. Oh no, my straw is stuck inside my bottle. Let me pull this fishing line and... Wow! It comes right so we just grab it. I'm just gonna grab some tape. Just tape it right on me. It's pretty unsuspicious. I'll just be like, Whoa! Oh my god, it's floating! Will it work on the intern? We're about to find out. Okay guys, so I actually made the intern sign a contract that whenever I press this button, he has to come no matter what he's doing. So here we go. Oh my god, guys, it's working. He's coming. Robbie, is everything okay? Yeah, dude, okay. I'm I, okay, I have a very important uh, job. I hope it's important. I was in the shower. <laughs> You were in the shower? Well, I need a peaceful bath once in a while. Dang! Yeah. This actually works so good. Yes, sir. Okay, the, your important task is I need to show you this magic trick. Better be a good one, because, you know. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to make this straw inside of here float. <laughs> Was it a good trick? Did you not like it? A A for effort. A for effort, Robbie. A for effort, Robbie. Guys, I can't believe he actually fell for that one. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Oh, Robbie, what's Did it work? I really hope that worked. Otherwise, if it didn't, I'm gonna look really stupid. <laughs> You know these kind of pranks? They're my absolute favorite. It really shows how much someone cares about you, you know? If you have a nail going through your head and someone reacts like they're the one hurting, you know you have a good friend there. So we got our pens. Don't need that anymore. I don't even know what the f I would use this for. Just gonna take a couple of these bad boys. I gotta cut these somehow without them flying up and hitting me in the eye. Just the fact that needles are gonna be... <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. That would feel awful if I've stepped on these things. I've stepped on so many thumbtacks in my life. Like, you don't even understand. Do you think three is enough? Let's go for one more. Not only did I stab myself once in the hand with a pin needle, I did it three times, Tori. That's how big of a dumb f I am. Then we get our hot glue gun. There we go. Just get that. Just like that. Apparently, I'm supposed to be able to just put it on my finger and it won't hurt. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't burning me that awfully. Little dot. That's not bad. Oh, it fell off. I feel like I might need to put more. Okay, so that's one on there. This one's kind of harder than it looks, I guess. So I, I think I'm just gonna try and do just a bunch of them. Maybe I should get some parchment paper. Just gonna keep adding some hot glue to it, I guess. And then I'll glue this onto my finger. I feel like these need to be a little closer together. Oh no, it actually stuck to my finger. This looks like a decent little cup, I guess. Now we're gonna go ahead and try the bottom part. Oh no, where'd the other needles go? That one's straight up like that. This one's like nightmare fuel. Where's the last needle? There it is. I need the last one right here. Come on, I can't even pick it up. Oh my God, that is scary. That's just in my nail right now. This looks so awful. And then little kids try these hacks. This sounds like terrifying. That's our bottom part. No, come on, stay up. So we got our bottom part and our top part all set. Now it's time to glue these babies out of my finger. Please don't burn my finger. Please don't burn my finger. I'm gonna move these needles in case I jolt and I go back. Then I'll have a needle stuck in my finger. Okay, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Yeah, that's uh, that's looking not awful. Okay, now we're gonna try the back one. Please don't be too hot on my nail. It's actually kind of stayed up. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks awesome. Oh gosh. Ah! Yep, it looks like uh, I successfully stabbed my finger. Now we gotta add the blood part. Oh my goodness. This is actually the same paint that I used for one of my other videos where I had my girlfriend do my voiceover and it was a prank. I'll show you guys a little clip really quick. Oh my god! Oh, no! Stop! Oh, this is so weird! Okay, now he's again. 
If you guys will watch that video, I'm gonna go ahead and put a card to it right here. Yeah, so uh, this looks like it's all done. Let's test it out on Tori. Tori Dabransky, help! I've stabbed my finger! Help me! I stabbed myself on the finger four times! How'd you do that? I did it! Why? It's hurt! Help me! Help me get it off! Help me take it out! I need to go to the hospital! Ow, no! Ow! I pulled all of them out at the same time! <laughs> Like it's gonna be. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's paint. It's not dry yet. Yeah, yeah, it's. Oh, I mean, I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I mean, it's blood. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what you want me to do because this, I can't, I can't take, take it off. Take it off. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> it's on your nail, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It doesn't hurt here. here. Ew, ew. Just wiping all this blood on me. I can't take that one off because it's on your nail, and I'm scared I'm gonna rip off your nail. No, I'm scared I'm gonna rip off my nail. Here, get it off. Kiss it. Can you kiss it? Kiss it, Tori. <laughs> I got her. So here's our Skittles. Get those out of here. Now we're gonna go ahead and make our own. Here's some clay. All I have is red clay, so I guess this is gonna have to do. So I guess kinda make it into a circle. Aha, one Skittle down, two. Yeah, that should be enough. Here's our white paint pen. These things are a little tricky, so uh, just bear with me, guys. Gotta shake it up, apparently. Oh, there we go. These are very sensitive, so just gotta write that S. Oh man, this is so liquidy. S. There we go. Looks like we're all good. I'll just let them dry for a second, and then we'll put them in our box. These look good. Let's put them in here. Awesome. Let's try these out on Tori. Tori Dabransky. Would you like to try some Skittles? Why are they open? I was eating them, and they're just so delicious. <laughs> so they changed the recipe. They taste so much better. Why you got I... them all over you. <laughs> Why are they all red? I, I Do you like the red ones? The, I don't like the red. Are you going to eat it? Why are you squishing it, Tori Dabransky? I don't think these are good, Robbie. Tori, no, they're good. I just bought them. <laughs> Look at them. I know they look so delicious. I don't really know if I want to eat these. I'm gonna here. I'll eat one right in front of you. Ready? Okay. Mmm, so good, so good. You dropped it on the floor. Oh, so <laughs> I must have missed my mouth. Okay, your turn. I hate it when that happens. Your turn. I really don't want to eat these because I I'm just gonna take a guess here and say that these aren't Skittles. They are. Then why do they squish like this? They're a new recipe. Are these even safe to eat? I have no idea. Yeah, yeah you probably shouldn't yeah. eat these. Okay. Don't Tori these. But why, Robbie? These are trash. Why, why can't I eat these? You don't want these. Oh, I don't want them. They're clay. Oh, that They're... makes sense. <laughs> well, I guess okay. you got me. Wait, no, you you got me. <laughs> right? I don't know. Get me at Benjamin. Get it. Here you go. I, I make gifts. Oh my god. You I ruined my it. Skittles! This would have been so gross what if are I you, actually ate that. What are you doing? You ruined my Skittles! Wow, Tori to Bradsky. Here's the box. Ugh, gross. Where did the actual Skittles go, though? Well, I'll see you later! Oh, what actual Skittles? So this one looks pretty good. But the first thing I'm gonna need is the intern's phone. Okay guys, so the intern's been here for about two weeks and uh, I actually memorized his bathroom pattern. So he goes to the bathroom every single day at exactly 5.52 p.m. and it's currently 5.51 p.m. So he should be coming out any minute. guys so we got his phone and I'm actually going to take it out of the phone case and then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with my already broken s10 you know what maybe we should break it a little bit more oh that's that's beautiful next we're gonna need a screw here we go yeah that ought to do or should I say that ought to screw oh that was a bad joke Boobity -boo. Now that we have our cut up screw, go ahead and just hot glue it right to the phone. Well, oh yes, looking good. It also said to get shards of glass. I guess I could just use this top from a Ferrero Rocher that I got. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty legit to me. Now I just put on the case, do the other side. Yeah, I definitely think that the intern will fall for this one. Hey, can 
can I talk to you for a second? Hey, Mike, how's it going? Hey, dude, actually, before you talk to me, have you seen my phone? Oh, Because I've was... been looking all over for it. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Why? So, so you seem like you've been really homesick lately, and uh, I feel like your phone has been nothing but a distraction because you've been, you know, talking to your friends and your family. Yeah, you know, they're my friends and family. So I destroyed your phone. Well, that is the most stupidest thing you've ever done. Dude, dude why'd you take it? Just break it. That's so messed up. Destroy this? Do you think insurance is gonna pay for this? <laughs> Dude, wait a sec. This isn't my phone. No, that's totally your phone. Wait, this isn't my phone. My phone's white. Like, I have a confession. What? What? You've been pranked! I, I, I've been pranked. You've been pranked, bro. Can you just leave? Dude, I don't even care about my phone. I don't even know where it's at anymore. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, 100% works. <laughs> Oh, don't do it. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so here's our coffee cup. Let's just go ahead and cut out the bottom really quick. There we go. Sick. Looks good. Now we add our bag. Put that in there. Aha. Add our water. That should do it. Put the lid back on. Now all we gotta do is remove the extra bag. Let's just break out our scissors. Cut the extra off. Aha. Okay, now let's go ahead and try this out on Tori. A Tori to Brad. Oh, hello. Here's a coffee that you asked for. Oh, thank you, Robbie. Aren't I just the best boyfriend ever? It kind of just tastes like water. Oh, they must have got your order wrong. You should look at it. Okay. Tori, you got water everywhere. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with you, Tori Dabransky? I don't know. Why did you give this? You've been pranked. Starbucks didn't do that. I did it. This was a prank. Oh, thank you. You still think I'm the best boyfriend ever? <laughs> Are you okay? Well, guys, I guess we can say that this prank works. A little water to gelatin to make thick jelly. Put it into a microwave. Add ketchup and stir well. Pour the fluid into silicone molds and put them into the fridge. Take the cooled jelly out of the molds. Okay guys, here's our bowl. Here's our gelatin. Just gonna put some of that in there. How much does this make? It doesn't even say. It makes up to one cup. Okay, so I don't really need that much. So let's put our water in. Get in there. Let's go ahead and mix this up. It kind of looks like applesauce. I feel like I need to add more water. Here we go. Yeah, that looks a little better. Looks good. Let's toss this bad boy in the microwave. There we go. One minute. Start. Let that cook for a second. Okay, that's all done. Now we just gotta add some ketchup. Mix this up. Oh, that smells so not good. It Okay, yeah, that looks about right. Now let's go toss this in the fridge for an hour. Okay, so it's all done, and I kind of forgot to put it inside the jello mold, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell him that it's jello, and hopefully he'll fall for it. <laughs> oh, okay, let's test this out on Chris. Hey, I'm Jordan! Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, I, I made you some jello. Do you want some? Yeah, I'll have some jello. I love you. What flavor jello is this? Oh, this is, uh, this is, uh, it's strawberry fl flavor. Oh, dude, like actual jello, so. <laughs> Okay, let's do the next prank. Okay, this one's real simple. All you gotta do is get a bunch of boxes. Then, you gotta cut some holes in the boxes and make yourself, uh, basically, a box suit. And before you know it, you'll be a Minecraft character. Wow! Then all you gotta do is line yourself up with a bunch of other boxes that are just, you know, sitting there. And when your friend least expects it, boom! Oh my gosh, a box monster! They're moving by themselves! Is it haunted? I don't know. This is gonna be, I don't know what this is gonna be. <laughs> I can see this one probably working. Let's try it. Ooh, box delivery. Okay, so we got our boxes. And the first thing I'm going to do is put them together. Here's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. I don't think I'll fit. I need to be one more higher. Okay, guys. Yeah? I think this might work. And then I stand and I'll just be like, oh. Okay, now we got to cut some holes. Yeah, not bad. Okay, that took longer than expected. I used some Gorilla Tape to kind of help uh, structure it a little bit. Body first. My arm holes. Okay, step into the boxes. Oh my god. Put on my head. Perfect. 
Wow. Okay, ready for this? Okay, let's test this one out on Tori. Oh, Tori to Come here. Hurry. I'm doing one of the boxes. No, oh, no, you're not though. What? Why? works. 10 out of 10, wholesome prank, would recommend. <laughs> okay guys, so here's our onion, then we just have to cut it in half. That probably wasn't the most efficient way to do it, but you know what? Ugh. Ugh, it works, okay? I just didn't want to use the whole onion. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our blender. Then we just go ahead and toss this puppy in there. Here we go. I really hope that this doesn't go horribly wrong. Okay, let's see how it turned out. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to take off the sticker. Well, I mean, it's close enough. Now we just go ahead and uh, pour it all out. It's not really uh, liquidy. Ugh. I mean, it's just chopped onions with a sticker. Here we go. Ugh. My eyes burn so bad right now. Like, I think I need safety glasses. Okay, yeah, these should do. They don't really help that much. So then we get our orange. I actually don't have a watermelon at the moment, uh, so this will have to do. All peel. Then I guess we just take our orange pieces and uh, put it in the onion. Oh man, this just, this does not look good. Ew. This is gonna taste so funky. I kind of feel bad for making Chris eat this. <laughs> He's never gonna want to come over my house ever again. I'm gonna go ahead and save this piece for me. I just have to remember which one it is. Here we go. Put that in there. Okay, perfect. Now let's go ahead and try this out on Chris. Okay. Hair Jordan! Come here! I made you a delicious and nutritious snack! Hey, what's up? I made you some oranges! Come here! They're delicious and nutritious and, uh, they're great. I kinda don't trust this. What? Will you eat one first? Yeah, of course! Why wouldn't I? Yeah. No, it's great. Oh. Here, Chris, Chris, try it. All right, you say so. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Chris, you've been, you've been pranked. That really didn't taste like that. <laughs> well, guys, I guess if you're gonna try this one, uh, make sure that you don't get the wrong wood. Okay guys, so I actually did this one to Chris before and he really freaking fell for it. Literally. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna fall for it again. So, instead of taping his shoes to the floor, I'm gonna go ahead and screw them to the floor. And in addition to that, I'm gonna put mouse traps inside them so he can't get out. <laughs> now let's do this. Yeah, it's perfect. This looks like a pretty good spot. Here we go. Oh no, the screws aren't long enough. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. And another. Yes! Yeah! These are solid! Gotta add the mouse traps. Oh man, I hope I don't freaking break my finger doing this. Man, this is so scary. There we go. There's one. Gotta do this really carefully. Real careful. Oh gosh. There we go. Now let's try this out on Chris. Oh hey, Jordan! Uh, hey dude, so I got you some cool shoes to match your cool pink shirt. Really? Uh, yeah, they're pink. Shoes. All you gotta do is slide them on. They're right there. You don't even have to. Yeah, yeah dude, just, just try them on. Go for it. Oh! 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 my god, what happened? Oh! Oh! Freaking got you! You put a mouse trap in my shoe! And I and screwed the shoes down so you couldn't get out! Why would you do this? You've been freaking prank, dude! Dang, dude. Is there another one in the other one? No! I ah, ah, you said there wasn't one in that one! Oh, ah, double ah, prank, dude! You've been freaking double prank! I'm just gonna take these shoes and leave, dude. You really? I screwed them down! So you couldn't escape the mousetrap! You've been triple prank! 
I'm out of here. I can't believe. Why would you do that? <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one freaking works. Oh my gosh, all these snacks look great. Grab some popcorn. What is that? Why is it moving? What's going on? Go to investigate, and little do we know, it's Oh, um, how did they do it? Take your box, cut out the bottom, then you get a little cardboard sheet, put it right over two things, cut a little hole in that bad boy, put a tablecloth over it, cut a little slit in the tablecloth, then you put your popcorn box right over the hole. Pop your head in, and boom! You're just a popcorn head. This one actually looks like it uh, could actually work, so I'm gonna try it. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is make the table. So I got this piece of cardboard that I'm just gonna go ahead and stick right in the middle right here. Now I'm gonna get some tape. I just just tape the sides down so that it doesn't really move. Looks good, now we're gonna cut the hole. Ha ha, very nice. Now it's time to add the tablecloth. Cut the little slit. Okay. I don't actually have a proper popcorn bowl, so I think I'm just gonna have to make one out of this paper. Just like this. I think this might work. Tape these up. Now I think I'm gonna go ahead and tape it to this tablecloth. Now it's time to pop some popcorn. I think that three bags ought to do it, but if not, uh, oh, oh well. <laughs> Okay. Oh no. Yeah, I don't think that three bags is gonna be enough. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that doesn't even like, that doesn't even fill it at all. Oh well, that's what I got. Well, I guess there's only one more thing to do. And that's test it out on Tori. But first I gotta get inside of this weird thing. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Is it working? How does it look? Oh my gosh. I'm Tori Nebranski! I have a surprise for you. I got you some popcorn. It's just sitting on the table. Oh wow, there's popcorn on the table. <laughs> Boom! Tori Nebranski! I'm inside the popcorn! What's happening to your head? What are you doing? I... Pull this thing off. Pull this Oh no! Tori, no stop! No, stop! I'm ahead! Boom! It was a prank the whole time! Did I get you? Are you scared? Like it's supposed to be like hidden. Like I wasn't supposed to know you were in there. I was. I was just. A, I was just a head inside the popcorn. Well, guys, uh, it doesn't look like Tori fell for it. So I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I don't know if I should actually be eating your popcorn that was on your head. I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, I'll see you later. Robbie, you have to just clean this one up. No, I'm. Please. I got it. I got other stuff to work on. Okay, I'll clean it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> a knife using a template from a book board. Make a slanting cut across the middle of the blade. Wrap it with a few layers of foil. Cut off the excess. Hot glue the edges. Wrap a part of the blade on the handle with foil. Make a knife handle from soft clay. Wrap up the cardboard with it. Double-sided tape to the cross cut of the blade. Activate a broken screen app. We're gonna start off with our cardboard, get our knife, draw the outline of the knife. This is gonna turn out perfect. And my, my marker's dead. This looks like exactly what we need. Then we gotta cut out our outline. Oh yeah, I can't tell the difference at all. Well, looks like I don't need this anymore. So now we're gonna get our tin foil and wrap it around this, I guess. You guys ever hear of the tin foil ball challenge? Uh, this is like the same thing. Oh, I forgot the hot glue. Hopefully this keeps it all together. It's pretty promising. It's, it's, it's like, oh, hot glue. Wrap that tip. This looks like a perfect knife. Now we gotta add the handle. They said to use some clay to make it look like a good handle. This is the most handle looking handle I've ever seen. I don't know how Lonnie's ever not gonna believe that this isn't a knife. I can definitely see this being a knife. This is a pretty good knife if you ask me. Now we have to cut it in half. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my phone to throw Lonnie off. That looks like it'll work. I'm holding a phone that has a phone screen. I could almost just do this. I don't even have to install this app. Let's take our double-sided tape. We just tape it on just like that. Look at, oh, nope. Maybe if I just use some regular tape to hold it on, that'll work. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now for the other side. How am I supposed to tape this? Okay. Oh no. And now we have the thumbnail. Time to test this out on Lonnie. Lonnie, Lonnie! I have a confession. I was running with the knife and I tripped and I stabbed your phone. Why did you have my... It's totally stabbed, it's totally real. Why did you... 
I'm convinced! There's Pokemon Go on there and everything! Robbie, this is not my phone. Uh, oh, uh, this is- Oh, I mean, I tripped it on my phone! <laughs> That sucks, dude. <laughs> oh fuck, he's catching on me. I, I tripped on my my phone. You sure did. <laughs> Warning tape and a wax crayon. Wrap all furniture in the room and take away the toy. Redhead gets into the room. Oh, no! My teddy bear! Redhead rushes up to the teddy bear body outline. Who could do this? Life is so cruel. I will take revenge for you, baby. So for this one, instead of pretending that my girlfriend's teddy bear got stolen, I'm pretending her cat got stolen! This is gonna be the best prank ever against Tori. You ready for this, Thomas? You're gonna help me with this. So I need you to lay down, and I'm just gonna outline you with tape. No, Thomas, you need to come back. Now lay down, right here, just lay down. I just need to put tape around you. We need this to prank Tori! Oh, I was so close. Can you just stay there like that? But Thomas, I'm not doing anything weird, Thomas. Oh, he moved again. I'm just gonna do what the closest I can to an outline of Thomas. Okay, I'm all done. Do you guys wanna see? And here it is in all of its glory. So I don't actually have any regular caution tape, but I do have this caution construction tape. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap this all around my room and make it look like Thomas has been murdered. You're just hiding underneath the desk, aren't you, buddy? You look like you hate me. This is a crime scene, everyone. Don't enter this caution area. Tori Dabransky. Tori Dabransky. I have some awful news. What happened? Tori, this is serious. Come look! Tori Dabransky, be very careful. This is, is a crime scene, okay? Robbie, you're- Tori, what? This is serious! Your cat's missing! You have way too much time on your hands, Robbie. Thomas is missing! That's his outline! Where did he go? No, he's- he's dead. He's dead? <laughs> Why are you laughing? This is serious! Construction area. What are you constructing, Robbie? I'm not constructing- the, the police put that here. Thomas, come here! Shh. That thing will bring back your kitty. Except for maybe yeah. doing that. Stop it. But he's right there. I don't... He, he's dead. <laughs> they moved the body. <laughs> You've been pranked. Your cat's not dead. Oh, what? My cat's not dead. Oh, you, you got me so good. I, I really thought he was missing. <laughs> Okay, so this one looks fun. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab a cut. Then I'm gonna cut a little hole in the bottom. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and get a straw. Put that in there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my glue gun and kind of just seal up the bottom. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a sec. Okay, now that the hot glue is cooled down, we're gonna go ahead and get a box. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole right here. Boop. Does the straw fit? It just barely fits. I feel like I'm gonna need to make it a little bigger. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Gonna go ahead and hot glue all around it. Hot glue the bottom. Okay, there we go. Gonna go ahead and let this cool off for a sec. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and attach a straw to this little straw right here. Okay, yeah, it looks good. Perfect. Here we go. Just gonna, so, oh. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode! I almost pranked myself! I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this cup up and just hope that my hot glue seal holds. I'm really hoping that I don't get coke everywhere. And here we go. Is it leaking? I think we are good! Now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my cup. Boop, 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 boop! <laughs> then I have to somehow slip this coke bottle into the straw without messing everything up. Oh man, I'm just hoping I don't spill. Oh my gosh! Okay, not sure how I'm gonna do this one. Go, just gotta be real careful. Here we go. Ha ha! I did it! Okay! Put mine on top. Boom! Okay, let's go and try this out on Chris. Hey, Chris! Hey, what's up? I have a challenge for you. Oh, all right. What's up here? Hey, Chris, so the name of the game is who can drink uh, the cup of Coke the fastest? Really? Yes! Okay. You ready? One, Round one. two, three, Fight. go! Chris, you gotta hurry up! Dude, what the heck? You gotta hurry up! You still have all that coke left! Stop. Mine's not going down. You been <laughs> pranked! Dude! I pranked you! Bro! That's a really good one. I got you. You got me. That's a good one. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works!
Okay, so this one's very similar to the knife prank that I did a while ago. If you guys want to check that out, click right here. But it's basically the same thing, only with a screw. So I guess our first step is to break the screw in half. See if I'm strong enough. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm not strong enough to break it in half. What the heck? It just doesn't want to break. I'm bending it. Ah, oh, I did it. I bent it in half. Oh no, it's kind of bent. That's not good. Well, good enough for government work. Dude, this looks so ridiculous. Well, uh, it's time to test it out. Tori, help me. I accidentally fell and I put a, a screw through my phone. Is that a worm? Is that a worm? No, it's a screw. Oh, it's a screw. I put a screw through my phone. Oh no. It went through my phone and, okay. no, uh, oh wow, it broke off. Wait, you wait, fixed wait. it. No, Tori, we're supposed to make it better. Make my phone better. Look, it, it went through my phone. Oh no, Robbie, what, why did you do this to your phone? I fell and it just, it protected my leg and, I oh. fixed it for you. You fixed it, you're the best girlfriend ever. Thank you for fixing my phone. I love you, goodbye. Oh, do you want your screw? I fixed your screw too, it's, it's just, it's good as new. <laughs> you can you can keep this to remember me by. Uh, remember you by? What do you mean? Okay, I gotta go. Goodbye. Okay guys, so Chris is currently in the bathroom. And unfortunately due to supply and demand, I couldn't get myself a fake oh. hand in time. But I do have a bunch of fake tongues. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and drill my tongue to my desk, and then I'm just gonna start yelling, and we're gonna see his reaction. This is gonna be great. Let's do this. Ah! Here we go. Put our tongue right here. Get our screw. Put that through right there. Here we go. Oh no, my tongue, it's spinning. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is gonna be great. Oh, yes. Oh, okay guys, what do you think? I think this is gonna work really good. Let's test it out on Chris. Okay, guys, you ready? Mm -hmm. ah! 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 Robbie! Oh my god, stop! 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 Stop pulling on it! Ah! 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 I got you, Chris! You spin! Oh! oh! I got you! You jump through the portal for this? He'll be back. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and grab this guy and my baseball bat. What are you gonna do with this? Go to Mike's computer. Go to YouTube. Oh, looks like he was watching my channel. And he's even subscribed. I'm surprised he's still subscribed after all these mean pranks I've been doing. But you guys should definitely hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. And we're just gonna go ahead and put broken screen. Full screen it. Oh, -ho! awesome. Okay guys, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Toby, what have we done? What happened? Oh. Oh what my happened? gosh! Oh, dude, dude, Mike, dude, I'm so sorry. I, me and Toby were playing some baseball in your office, and I actually played baseball with a tennis ball. Look, I, I accidentally hit him into your TV. That's company property. I know. Well, I could get in. Look, I was just practicing my baseball. I was expecting to pay for that. We're really sorry. I don't care. I'm gonna get in trouble. My boss is gonna fire me when he finds. <laughs> Mike, I am your boss. Oh. Also, Mike, I have a confession. Are you in love with me? No! This was a prank the whole time! Oh, what? Well, well, check it out! It was a YouTube video! Oh, you know, if it wasn't a prank, would you still buy me a new one, though? Uh, uh, uh I mean, company I, property, right? I, I gotta, uh, uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this oh, one works! Yeah. Are you actually pranking the computer? Company property, Robbie! Unwrap a chewing gum. Put a gum stick on a slice of bacon. Cut off the excess. Lock the bacon strip with a napkin. Wrap it in the foil instead of the chewing gum. Emma unwraps a chewing gum stick, but she finds a piece of bacon instead of the gum. Finally, I found a good way to tell Tori that I want her breath to smell like meat in the morning. We undo the package. Okay, so now we gotta get the bacon, which is being held captive by the monster in my closet. Ah! It's gonna reach inside the smell. Oh my god! Oh, it's attacking me! Oh, it's attacking me! Get back! Get! That was a mission. And we're gonna unwrap the bacon from our monster guts. Mmm, bacon. Pioneers used to eat this stuff raw. I mean, they did it in the video. And then cut it so that it'll fit inside the wrapper. Don't need that anymore. Carefully, carefully. This is perfect. It 
is bacon. Time to test this out on my girlfriend. Hey Tori, I got a nice, nice sweet treat for you. What is it? Meat flavored gum! What is this? It's bacon. Aren't you gonna eat it like they did in the video? Can I eat it? I don't know. I don't you... think it's safe because it's not cooked. Cut. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a thumbs up. It looks something like this one right down there. Also, if you guys didn't know, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing all these crafts and pranks. Uh, it's right here. Click on it. Go watch it. Grab yourself some popcorn, some soda. Better than going to the movies. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'm Red Okay, bye! Ah!